Hi everyone, this is uh, yet another Igniting Abilities workshop and today we have Ishan Mehta on, uh, for, uh, with us where you know, we would be basically digging deep into a day how, how Ishan really spends and the assistive technology that he uses. The whole idea of these sessions is to bring forth uh, to you all the assistive technologies that are there and how people are using this so that you know you could kind of learn from this and make your life a little better as well so that's the whole idea so uh great to have you ishan here pleasure to be here thanks right uh before we dig deep into all that uh you know the technology that you do and the kind of work that you do where well, it'll be nice if you could uh maybe just have a, a background about yourself what do you do and you know what is the condition that you are in right now sure so uh Hi, I'm Ishan. I have been a working professional for almost 12 years. Uh, I currently work at LinkedIn. I am a learning project manager there. Uh, it associates with working with our uh, learning management suite and uh, data insights and quite a few other activities in our team. Right. Uh, I have what's known as a spinal cord injury. So I've been defined medically as a quadriplegic which means I do not have functionality of all of my limbs, all four of my limbs. And uh, my accident took place about seven years ago. So for the first couple of years, it did have a lot of medical complications and stabilizing was a priority. But post which spent a little time introspecting, figuring out how to you know, get back. And unfortunately, we were all hit by COVID. So that kind of uh, derailed certain progresses but after that I've been back on track and I've started working again and yeah that's how it's all come full circle right really nice really nice so what what do you what do you do at LinkedIn uh, Ishan so at LinkedIn uh, the role of learning project manager what it kind of encapsulates or what do I need to necessarily do is one administration of a learning management system suite which we use that's for deployment of training to our customer service team, our customer success team rather. And uh, apart from that, there's a lot of training and quality data insights analytics. So what that means is I work with a lot of data on Power BI, which is again an analytical suite, which is used for uh, showcasing not just data, but also analysis and trends and so on and so forth. And, uh, Primarily, my expertise has been project management always since day one. So in LinkedIn, I also, uh, you know, take up projects and kind of initiate them, be it on process improvement or overall projects as such. Right. And uh, uh, so is this is this your first job or, or no, were you working before? Not, not my first job, but this is my first job after uh, the accident. Okay. And I have been working in uh, Vodafone, actually a telecom company, which quite a few people may be aware of. And I worked there for quite a long time. So right. a good 12 years of experience as such. Okay, very nice. And uh, before, uh, you know, so uh, you, I, I, I heard that you work on uh, this analytical tool as well, which means that there would be a lot of work on the data that you would be, you know, you would have to use a lot of data if it is project management, then there's a lot of reporting that happens, which means that you will be using a lot of uh, uh, Excel as well as a lot of PowerPoint to present things and all. So we will uh, dig deeper into this. But, uh, you know, I was before I step into the whole assistive technology, just a thought that just comes to my mind is that, you know, how is this being taken by the company? Uh, LinkedIn, have, yeah, have you been? Given the right accommodations, uh, would, have you caught the right support? Just, just if you could just let me know, that would be nice. Absolutely. So the good thing about LinkedIn is, uh, like some of the top companies, and in fact, I feel that the leader in that, uh, as far as diversity, quality, and inclusivity is concerned, they have a very strong pillar, and they do not compromise on that. They are very understanding and culturally very oriented on it. So even prior to me joining, right from my interview process, if I required any special accommodation, access to any location, though my interviews were online, but if the need was there, they were ready to you know 
provide that, accommodate that, and help the individual to basically not have the aspect of a physical disability hamper any process. And post that, the joining piece, be it my technological tool which I use or any uh, device which I require, even from my day-to-day -day perspective of going to a location or coming back, they're willing to cover all of those costs and even aspects like, for example, for a person like me, which could be important to know, I depend on a caregiver almost all the time. So if I have to travel or if I have certain kind of requirements where I need assistance, they are willing to cover those costs, be it from air or res uh, from uh, accommodation and stay point of view and all of that. So the way understanding, they do get it. And at the end of the day, what I really like is the focus is about the work. So let the other things kind of just be handled to help the person, you know, uh, prioritize that. Sure, and sure. Be, right. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. And be comfortable with it. Sorry. That's what right. I want. Right. No, excellent. Thanks for sharing this. I think, uh, you know, companies like these are quite an example, I would say, uh, where uh, the focus is more on the ability. And this is exactly what, uh, you know, our workshops are all about as well. So, uh, let's concentrate on how did you get back on track? You know, they, it requires you have to be able to use the computers to uh, be able to compete with people who, you know, for, for them, it's like second nature. So uh, how did you start? How did you train yourself? What are the tools that you use? It will be nice if you could share that. Absolutely. So coming back to the uh, story narration, which I was doing. Post the incident, obviously, the first priority for anyone is to stabilize oneself health-wise. That's yeah. the biggest priority. Once you do that, uh, giving some time to yourself and the family to kind of, you know, settle in, normalize things from a day-to-day -day basis, not yet from a job perspective, just from a day-to-day. -day. Once yeah. that mindset has been made and you are comfortable and you're willing to explore and try things, that's how my journey started and that's how I would advise anyone to as well do that. So luckily for me, COVID situation, uh, it may have hampered progress from opportunities and interacting with people, but it gave me a lot of time to do a lot of introspection and research, which is what I did. Right. And the first thing I, I literally started with a blank plate being, does a quarter pledge or a person with such a severe disability get job opportunities? And what are the kind of assistive tools available? So just start from scratch. And that research led to a lot of information, a lot of conversations. And eventually I was able to figure out that, okay, there are tools and devices. Uh, the only unfortunate piece is that it may not easily be available from information or even purchase per standpoint, because they're not very commercial. Uh, the community of people with disabilities, especially severe disabilities, is very small. So it may take a little bit of patience and time, but that's why I think community building is again a very important point. And yeah, eventually I was able to figure out a device. It's based out of the US, the company. So I was able to get in touch with them, procure it and uh, get it and then start using it. So yeah, that's how the story kind of leads to, you know, reaching that stage. And also the other piece is self-realization from my past experience. Prior to this, I had worked about 10 and a half years. So I'm aware that I need to access a laptop to do work. There are limitations of doing things on the phone, especially from an Excel, PowerPoint, while well, technology and voice assist has come ways, but you cannot perform every task and activity on the phone. So trying to figure out a bridge on how can I access a laptop so that I can normalize the playing field at least from the perspective that yes, I'm using the same devices and tools yeah. a normal person is. Yeah. So yeah. Got it. Got it. And uh, how did you uh, get to know about this particular technology that you're using? Was this like a complete Google search or did you... Did you... It was self-research. I wasn't able to connect with anyone on this. Sure. But uh, I... I think I was going through some videos about some people. In fact, funnily, you know, somebody was playing uh, some PlayStation games or something of that sort. Mm -hmm. And I just saw a video and the person was using the device 
and comfortably playing some first person shooter or something right you know, so okay if it's being you know being used for playing games i'm pretty sure it may be able you know yeah. to be uh, used for a day to day work kind of scenario right when once i understood the name of the device which was tagged in that particular article uh-huh. i could then get details of the company and find a couple of competitors who were doing this in the us and that's how i got the information got it got it so there was just a little bit of technical glitch uh fair enough uh, so um, now can we have a look at the uh, the device what exactly is the device and how do you use it sure so i just quickly share my screen to show you how to look and how do we kind of plug it in Oh, I'll just share my screen. Um, here is here. So yeah. That's the device. Sure. I'll just. So you clamp it on the table, and then you just so attach it. with the it's a usb port yeah. that you attach to your computer so since we've seen the video of how it's plugged in i just describe it so it's a little easy to understand so yeah. this is the entire device this is a clamp mechanism which can attach to a tabletop or a chair or whatever you kind of use uh this is a hard based pipe which is kind of used uh to it's it's for it's malleable in a way so you can kind of adjust it to how you would require it, the height and uh, the bend and this is the main uh, technology it's something known as a sip and puff technology so what this socket of this device does is it has a joystick at the start which as you can see right now i am moving so you can move it in all directions stop right left down that helps navigate the cursor uh, it doesn't require any software you just plug it in just like a usb mouse and it just starts operating and how do you use the mouse apart from the navigation piece is the technology which i said the sip and puff where you can blow in air or pull it out to decide to do a right click or a left click command it can be either or whatever option you would feel comfortable with you tend to kind of use the left click more than the right so i do the blowing with the left click because that kind of makes more sense it's less tiring as well yeah and using that then of course you navigate and click and use everything on your laptop got it got it so uh, and how uh, how do you use excel well, can you do like everything in excel powerpoint and all is that as comfortable as for anyone else so uh, there are two parts to it one yes it does enable access to me to do all these things but you need to also do certain level of research and understand what do you need what do i mean by that is if my understanding of excel is strong and i do know what is the end result of the formula or what is it i am working on and needs to be done it's easy as the first priority would be to do research to understand that and then use the device limitations are there of course a person typing normally would type faster but there are certain tools available on both Microsoft and Mac devices, wherein you have something like an on-screen keyboard. In fact, this is what I use. So I use this for typing and doing major of uh, my editing work for formulas as such. Mm-hmm. But you can also use the dictate feature or the voice assist, which is available on a laptop for emails and Word to kind of cover uh, long sentences and certain aspects. So this may take you know a longer period of time. and in today's day and age the good part is there's a lot of research and work and upgrades happening on them so they capture pretty much what you want to kind of say but to your point yes i do use a lot of excel and powerpoint and i could demonstrate to you a simple okay. excel formula i think something standard which industry wide people know known as a v lookup formula yeah so, yeah yeah that'll be nice Here's a sample Excel sheet. I just pulled out random data actually from the web. So there's some data with people's names and uh, the other data fields. And there's another sheet which has the same names and has a country. So as you can see, country is not 
available as a data field in the sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lookup formula to pull in the country information into the sheet. So I'll just show you how. Yeah. Now you're going to use the virtual keyboard. Absolutely. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. How did you how did you double click? Do you 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 uh blew the thing twice, is it? The twice? So that's where the research and knowledge and practice angle comes into play. Yeah. So those who have played around with Excel know that while you can copy and pull it or you can drag it, when you see this icon and you double click, so this square particular crosshair. Yeah. No, but like I'm asking, like how did you give the instruction to the uh, to the device that now you need to double click it? Oh, uh, that way. Or oh, then it's a double puff. Double so you just puff. do a double puff and in a okay. uh, fast speed. But trust me, it's not that difficult. It kind of takes a few attempts, but then you get used to it. And how and how much time did it take for you to kind of get used to? The uh, you know the sensitivity of the joystick and the and the I think you're, yeah you're right it takes practice for it that's why it takes some time yeah. but to be very honest within a day or two uh, it's not very difficult to figure out how uh, the cursor speed is how do you need to kind of click and press it and you know figure out that angle and now it's been over a year and a half for me that I've been working so over time. Yeah, you kind of get used to it and becomes easier. But to be very honest, a couple of days. Got it. Got it. Excellent. Uh, just have a. We'll have a very quick look at the PPT as well, if that's okay with you. Sure. Uh, any particular example you would like to see? Maybe so maybe you could you could drag a picture, insert a picture. You know, make it large, crop it, or something like that. Okay. So what we'll do is something which I've pre-done, but just to let you know. From Google, I've just downloaded an image for a desktop. Yeah. I downloaded this image and I think I've saved it. So I'll show you on the PowerPoint. Sure. So I want to insert the image. I'll go to pictures, insert. This is the image I had downloaded. Click on insert. I've got the image. Now I would like to probably make it a little larger and you know, it's a little cluttered with the pre and the default title options which are behind. So I want to remove it. I'll select it. Cut it, remove it. Could click delete as well, but this sure. is an option. Yeah. Yeah. You select the image and then you expand it. If there's a question that okay, that seems straightforward. How did I expand it? Yes. So again, the SIP and uh, Puff technology has a feature wherein if you need to long press, long yeah. drag, like yeah. that, you could blow in the air or pull out the air for a slight longer duration rather than just immediately sip it and puff it. Okay. So the longer you do it, the longer it happens. Got so it. Ways for those who need it or don't need it, it's a good lung exercise also. Excellent. Thanks so much, uh, Ishan, for just giving us a sneak peek. And uh, you know, this makes things quite real uh, so that you know we get to know exactly how you basically work uh, and pretty much do your meetings and, and, and be more productive. Uh, uh, what company is this? You know, how did you, uh, do you want to talk about uh, how people can access this maybe, how people can get uh, some trainings around this? Is there anything that that, that that is there out there for people yeah, to really do have a proper website. So the company uh, name is Quad Life. Quad Life. Okay. Quad Life. Q U A D L I F E. Right. Which I'm using is Quad Joy. Uh, in fact, I think 
since the time I have purchased this, there is an updated version. Uh, the difference being, it is predominantly very compatible with Windows uh, softwares. It did have, I think, an initial glitch with Apple softwares, but I think they figured that out. So it's very easily compatible with that too. I have tried it too on Apple. The only difference is I've always worked on uh, a Windows device as far as work is concerned. Yeah. And tweets which we made really use, be it Excel, PowerPoint, or Teams, they're all Microsoft devices, so it's just yeah. easy to use out here. Got it. And uh, yeah, you could click on the website, uh, access it. They have certain demonstration videos, they have information about it. And yeah, it's not unfortunately available in India. So okay. I had to go through the route of having a family friend kind of get it for me when they were traveling. But apart from that, it is pretty much a one-time investment. They give you enough spare parts. There isn't much to kind of, uh, unless until you yeah, accidentally drop it or break it of any sort, there isn't any chance of any servicing required or anything of that sort. So it's just a hygiene which needs to be maintained for the second buff, which is very important. Uh, we kind of do neglect it in our day to day. But apart from that, it's pretty much a fantastic device and a great Got it. Got it. Is there anything else we missed about the device? Is there anything that you would want to share? No, I think it's pretty much actually. So people may think it's more complicated and very difficult, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Once you actually get to doing it and using it, you will enjoy it and you can, you know, get back to work. And in fact, I feel sometimes there are certain times that I'm not trying to show off, but I may be faster than people who regularly use their laptops. Just because I know it takes an effort and I don't want to loiter around and take the time. So probably that helps with the efficiency. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I think I think I think we all get a little more uh we try to compensate as well. You know, we would want to just like be at par with everyone and that's that's great. And that requires effort, that requires a lot of courage. And at the same time, once you do it, then there's a lot of independence that comes with with it as well. So really that's happy right. for uh what you've shared and I'm glad that there are technologies that are coming up which are helping uh, people like all of us uh, really come up the speed and be at par as far as the playing field is concerned. Any tips that you have, uh, Ishan, you know, of someone who's going through uh, something like what you went through, how they can really bounce back and what they should be doing? Any any tips around that? Uh, yeah, sure. In fact, a couple of them would be like one, you're not alone and probably not the first person to be going through this. So others have in the past and maybe are currently. So reach out. Uh, it's sometimes difficult to know who to, but probably through hospitals, to connections, through LinkedIn itself, uh, plugging in my company portal, but it's a fantastic place to network and uh, you know connect with people. There are so many communities. People are willing to help uh, share information. So that's one. Second, if you made your mind and you're very clear, you want to be at least independent, not necessarily from a living perspective, but at least from your day-to-day -day work perspective and enjoy that, there are options available. It may certainly take time. It may take patience. Like I have just told you a summarized version of it, but my research and practice took about a year plus. So having that fortitude and determination of waiting that long is also required. But at the end of the day, the fruit is fantastic. The end result is great. So that's all I would say. So what I hear is that uh, do your research, be focused and look at what the end goal really is. And uh, if you'll work on yourself, it takes courage. But if you'll work on yourself, the fruits are going to be very, very rewarding, right? And don't be afraid to help. People are there to help. Don't. Uh, and, and of course, that you're not alone. And there are communities and there are uh, there is LinkedIn which you can actually always log on to. And there are communities there as well. There are a lot of communities on Facebook and so many other social networks. Excellent. Excellent. And, this, and, yeah, this and, and there are people and companies like Sarte who are trying to take the efforts of spreading that education and awareness. So reach out to them as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much for, uh, for this. But uh, this was a wonderful uh, session, really. I, I learned a lot. And I think uh, looking at you, and the way you just maneuvered around uh, the computer, it was, it's, it's, it's quite encouraging, you know, it's quite inspiring and encouraging that 
if you have the will, then you can actually make a difference as well. Yeah, so, <laughs> simply put, whether the will, there's a way. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks, Ishan, for your time. And I wish you all the best and hope uh, we keep doing these sessions with you. And maybe we'll come up with something else uh, next time and we'll get you on show on the show as well. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely speaking with you, Ishan. Likewise.